everybody, welcome to The Waldock Way, I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be an Usborne haul. So today I am sharing with you guys my most recent Usborne haul, and I have even better news because it's in collaboration with Abby from Rooted in Rest. She too is sharing her most recent Usborne haul. So if you love Usborne books and you want to see lots of goodies, make sure when you finish watching this video, you hop on over to her channel to watch hers too. The first thing I grabbed, and by grabbed, I mean like added to my cart like it was going to sell out, is the Forgotten Fairy Tales of Kindness and Courage. This is the third book in the series. They have another fairy tale version and then an around the world version, and we absolutely love them. The illustrations are gorgeous. The stories are just so sweet. I mean, it is an amazing series. We absolutely love them. So I knew that I wanted this one the minute that I saw it at the Osborne internet link. Along those same lines that I knew I had to have was the illustrated stories of dragons. I think we have the illustri illustrated story of wizards and mermaids, maybe even cowboys, but I absolutely love these. So when I saw that there was a dragon one, I knew that we had to have it because this would be perfect for so many things that we learn about, but specifically our Harry Potter year coming up because this coming year we will be venturing in to the fourth book, which I believe, I think it's the fourth book now that I just said that out loud, but we will be venturing in to the wizard, the Triwizard Maze. So there's going to be, that's the one where dragons really come into play. So I'm really excited to have this to incorporate with that. This is a beautiful book with amazing illustrations and cute stories. I have never been disappointed with any of the Usborne illustrated books. They are all just so good. Now you might remember that I recently bought the year of art because this was supposed to be our year of art. So when I saw that they had a year of writing, I was like, oh yeah, because Emily needs all of the writing help she can get. So this is my year of writing. It is 365 creative writing activities to be creative every single day. So some of them are like writing a poem, making a shopping list, planning a polar expedition, I mean, writing a message in a bottle. They're just kind of fun, encouraging ways to do some creative writing. So I thought this would be a really, really great addition to our homeschool. The other thing I picked up for Emily, because I knew she would love it, is the amazing discoveries of 100 brilliant scientists. She loves science and she loves scientists, so I thought she would like being able to read through this book. One of the things that I know she's going to appreciate is that it's in full color because she loves when books are in full color. So do I, if I'm being honest. And so I thought she would like that and that it would just have tons of information um, and hopefully even take us down some rabbit trails because I figure she'll read some of it and be like, oh, this is so cool. And we'll end up down who knows what scientific rabbit trails because of this. Let's see here. I also grabbed, it looks like five of the peak inside books. Now, if you missed it, I will go ahead and let you know. I recently purchased a ton of the peak insides and the um, Usborne matching games for my nieces and nephews, and they love them. Like love, love, love them. There aren't any more matching games. I have now officially purchased all of them. So Usborne, if you're listening, please make some more because those are their favorite games but there was some more of the peak inside books. So I went ahead and got all of the ones that they don't have yet. I figured I would put them up for Valentine's Day, Easter, and upcoming birthdays because I love being able to gift a kid a book that they love. So it's kind of like a win-win for me. So I got them peak inside animal homes, peak inside the sea, Peek Inside the Farm, Peek Inside Bug Homes, and then this one is a newest release which Emily has now told me I have to go back and buy for her, and that is Peek Inside Snowy Places. Now I know somebody's going to ask because these are the Peek Inside books. Yes, they are probably younger and way too easy for Emily, but this is my feeling on them. They still have very factual information. 
They're still fun. She can read them independently and she still enjoys them. So I will absolutely be getting this one for her to complete her collection because she wants it, because she'll read it, and because I kind of have an obsession with having complete collections of things, if we're being completely honest. And while we're on that topic, the next set of books I purchased because they needed to be purchased to complete our collections. But in all honesty, we love all of these books in this collection, so it's not like we wouldn't have bought them anyway. And the first one is the 100 Things to Know About the Oceans. We have all of these 100 Things to Know books, and they're phenomenal. They're great for morning baskets or bedtime baskets or to throw in with a unit study because it is 100 random things to know about a specific topic. It is full color like we both really like and enjoy. And the facts that you learn, some you might know and some you may have no clue of. Like there are more pieces of plastic in the ocean than there are stars in the Milky Way. And so that is really cool because we will read that, we will learn that, and then we will be like, okay, well, how can we prevent that? And that's one of those things, like I said, this, these books lead themselves very, very well to rabbit trails, which are very important in our homeschool. I also picked up the Never Board or Never Get Bored Draw and Paint book. So I have the original, I have the outdoor one, and now I have Draw and Paint, which is actually probably closer to being perfect for Emily than any of the others. I love these, especially for the summer, because um, that tends to be when we have the most down slash board time. And it is a great thing to be able to just strew one of these and maybe a couple of the supplies that you would need and have your kiddos just kind of go at it. So this book is bursting with drawing and painting ideas to supercharge your imagination and banish boredom forever. I don't know about forever, but I'm sure you can at least get an hour out of it. Next up is probably my favorite newest series from Usborne, and that is the That's a Job series. The first one that they released in this series was the That's a Job, I Like Animals, What Jobs Are There? Literally as if they had read my mind when it came to Emily. I immediately bought it. Actually, I think I bought three copies in total because she had friends that wanted animals, you know, that love animals too. And then they came out with an outdoor one, which I immediately bought. And when I saw all three of these new ones, I knew I had to have them, again, for multiple reasons, because we love them, because Emily has serious interest in two of these topics and because they complete my collection. But I really am genuinely excited for them. The information in these is so great. It's not just the typical things you would think about. For instance, I like space, what jobs are there, is going to be so much more than just astronauts or you know the typical things you would think of. It is actually going to include 25 different people whose jobs involve working with or in space. What I like even more than the fact that they are very diverse as far as how many jobs they give you is that in the back of each of them, there is a your perfect job match like spread. So it's kind of like if you like this, you know, follow here, follow here. So it's like a really, really great way for kids to get a better idea of what jobs there really are and the interests that they have and what might be a better match for them in that field. We also have I like art, what jobs are there, which Emily is already ready like to come steal as soon as I'm done with this video. And I like sports, what jobs are there. The last two books that I have that are for like completing our collection are these two very, let's see, nope, these are not very first. These are just first question and answer, lift the flat books. So we have where does poop go? Because how could you not buy that title? I mean, seriously, what kid doesn't want to know a where poop goes? And then the first question is, why do things die? Now, this kind of goes along the same lines as the peak inside books. Yes, they're probably a little younger than what Emily could handle, but she's a sensitive kiddo. And so this level for like why things die is perfect for her. And she's reading and she's enjoying it because it has the lift the flaps. So I still buy them. We have the first 
I just think we just passed on our very first section. So I think she very, like she just grew out of at eight, the very first selection of these. And we gave them to my niece and nephew. Um, but we kept all of the first questions and answers. So we're still collecting for that because she still loves them. Okay, on to the new things that we have. I saw these and knew I had to have them. It is the My Secret World Mermaid and Unicorn. Each of these books are packed with secrets, stories, activities, and recipes perfect for anyone who believes in unicorns or who believes in mermaids. They honestly looked adorable. They're full color. Like it says, it's got stories and activities and recipes. If you have a little girl who loves unicorns or mermaids, these would make fantastic Valentine's Day gifts. Easter basket stuffers, um, summer, like end of the year, summer things that you could give them. They would be fantastic for that. The next series that I purchased, I think the whole series, I may be missing one because it was on back order, is the Understanding series. So this is um, a little bit of an older selection of books, but they're still in full color. The information is still bite-sized pieces, which I really, really like. And I think they're going to be perfect for Emily, especially as we're transitioning into, you know, kind of like I said, that older, more mature content. So we have the Usborne Understanding the Climate Crisis, Understanding Business, Understanding Philosophy, Understanding Money, understanding economics and understanding politics and government. Now this is the only one out of the whole um, stack that is the hardback or the library binding because the flex binding was out of stock and I really, really wanted this book and it has been out of stock for forever. So I got it in the library binding, but I do want to show you a little bit of what it looks like. Not this particular one, but the series of books. So like I said, they're full color. It's still those bite size information in a way that I think a kid will understand. And I'm excited to add them to our homeschool. All right, I also wanted to age up some of Emily's um, crafts or handicrafts, if you will. She has been um, doing some more advanced stuff and I knew it was time for me to kind of admit that she's not a baby anymore and get some more advanced things for her. So I asked Abby to help me a little bit and she had her oldest daughter pick out this foil, which is a um, ocean create super shiny art with 40 pieces of foil set for Emily to try. I will let you guys know if she likes this. I'm sure she will though. And then I also went ahead and got the entire embroidery kit line for her. Ooh, I'm going to drop them. So I think there are six total here. And it comes with absolutely everything that you need. So we have the fairy, the llama, the mermaid, the owl, the flamingo, and then the unicorn, which is obviously the one she wanted to open first. And I had her put everything in the front so you could see that it comes with the cotton fabric piece that already has the design on it. This is the step-by-step -step, um, instruction book, your embroidery hoop, your needle, and your thread. So it comes with everything that you need to be able to embroider. And these are recommended for ages seven and plus um, if you are looking to get them for your child. All right, the absolute last thing that I grabbed is the new, um, re well, they're not really revised, they're just new covers, but the new full set of the Bear Girls Adventure books. I grabbed these for a couple of reasons. Number one, I do want to make sure that there's not any actual changes in the writing themselves because obviously I have a curriculum designed around them. So I needed to know if anything had changed. Number two is because when I wrote the curriculum, only the first six were out and now all 12 are out. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to be able to expand um, the survival school to include all 12 books. 
And then the third reason is because when that expansion is done, I am hoping to host a giveaway and give away the curriculum as well as the full set of books. So that is why I purchased these. If you are interested in that curriculum, I will leave the link in the description box down below. If you want a chance to win it, make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification. So you're notified every time a new video goes up and you will know when I'm giving it away. So that is everything that I got at Usborne recently. And I want to know if you shopped Usborne recently, what have you been buying? Because I'm always looking for more fantastic quality books to add to our homeschool library. And if you want to see even more fantastic quality Usborne books, make sure you head over to Abby's channel and watch her Usborne haul.